Ya le beta can cook. Tiki de ya pay up pretty look your man live a restaurant and come done man bang book. Cook. Eh, recipe book. Hey guys, so today I'll be making some okra punch for you. Yes, okra punch, Roma's kitchen style. So these are all the ingredients needed for you to make the okra punch. And I'll be telling you what each ingredient is as I go along. Of course, you'll need a blender to get everything nice and together. So to start, I'm going to be using six okras. I'm going to wash and chop these. Just like this to add them to my blender. And as I mentioned, I'm using six okras because I really like okras. But if you cannot manage the slime that comes with it, you can use three to four okras instead of six. Now I'm going to be adding in some raw peanuts. You do not need parched peanuts or anything like that. Raw peanuts, perfect. And I'm going to be adding a third cup of the raw peanuts. Next, I'll be going in with some oats. This is my oatmeal, guys, and I'm going to be adding a quarter cup of oatmeal to this. So the next thing I'll add to this, guys, is some molasses. I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of molasses. If you do not like the bitter taste of molasses, you can use one teaspoon or no molasses, but I actually love molasses, so and I don't mind the bitter I don't mind the bitter taste that comes with it so I'm adding one tablespoon of molasses here so to give this an extra kick I'm going to go in now with one teaspoon of cinnamon powder then I'll be going in with one teaspoon of nutmeg and this is ground nutmeg if you have fresh nutmeg go ahead and grate it and add it to it I'll also be adding in some vanilla extract and that's one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then I'll be going in guys with some condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. So this part now you add it based on your liking because this will make it creamy but also sweet. So I'm just going in with two tablespoons of the condensed milk. Now guys, onto the banger, I'll be adding to this some Guinness Stout. Guinness Stout is really good, but it's bitter, if you know. So I'm just going to go in with a quarter cup of Guinness, or maybe I'll add just a little more Guinness. Just a little more, guys. It won't hurt. Now, to get everything together, I'm going to be using some unsweetened almond milk. If you have regular cow's milk, you can go ahead and use that. But I'm using two cups of almond milk now. All together, I'll be using three, but I'm adding two cups now. Because I'm not sure my blender will actually hold everything. But this is two so far. And I'm just going to cover my blender. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend. Everything is coming together so nicely. So I just blend it until it's nice and smooth but it's way too thick. So of course it needs that cup of almond milk, that one other cup. So that's three cups of almond milk all together. That's good, it won't spill. And now I'm just going to add one eighth of a cup of one eighth of a cup of sugar. Now this is all up to you guys if you need it sweet or not. So that's it. I'm just blending, blending, blending here. And then it will be soon time for me to pour. Look at this consistency. This is perfect. This is exactly how I want it. Nice and runny. And look at that guys. Lovely. This will serve for around three to 
three to four persons or if you're having it alone like I am you can just have some now some later and some the day after that so this is it guys okra punch made easy in Roma's kitchen this is a must-have it's really really good you can spice it up the way you like it so guys if you like the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share the video subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on until next video